So today we got a uh, Nexus 6 or, or Nexus 6P or 5X, whatever came in between the Nexus 5 and the glorious Pixel. Beautiful, beautiful Pixel. Can you see that? I got this from uh, somebody that tried to send it to the company for a warranty and, uh, and then they sent it back because it's water damaged. But I'm going to fix this using, uh, using some rice and alcohol and it's you know the usual suspects you see on online this is out of warranty because it's already fucked right you can't you can't really fuck it more but this is the water indicator when this turns red this tells the manufacturer when you send it back for a warranty that hey this fucking thing's been wet don't trust this asshole it's been wet look at that it's red the next step is that i need to, what the fuck was that the next step is that i need to pry this battery using like a card like a credit card all the way around and I don't have any with me and also I have to go but I will be back well for you it's nothing for you it's just a minute a second no it's just a, it's just a cut so we're back with some tools I got uh, this is I think an iPhone opening kit because it's got a suction cup with it I might be using that for this but really I got to take all this apart first so well first starts with the bottom so we'll take apart the bottom part, we already took out all the screws for this. You don't want to damage this for sure, because this is a very vital part. I think this is an antenna and maybe an NF what's NFC receiver, something, who knows. This is the charging port, so we really don't want to fuck this up. Um, I believe this is the battery lead. Hold on, let me look that up. I'm not going to do this blind. Never do shit like this blind, and don't use my shit as a tutorial, because that's not what this is. Okay, I probably edited all that out because none of it was fucking in focus. I'm going to put the motherboard, this motherboard that I eventually took off of here, on t into a vat of uh, rubbing alcohol for like 30 minutes or something. There's a moisture indicator on the board itself, and two more here, and then that one on the back cover. And uh, once I, if I get this working, well, even if I don't get this working, I'm still going to try this. Um... I'm going to show you how you can circumvent these stupid little things and maybe, you know, maybe get lucky. You send it in and try and get them to fix this shit for you. So it's been in there for way over half an hour. I forgot about it. And uh, so what we're going to do is gonna make a little pad for it, right? A little pad for it. Uh, we're going to take this. Rolling my bomb, just lightly, lightly brush around, you know. You gotta wash your motherboard every so often. That computer will last you forever. You ever notice how it gets slow? It's because the little bits, the little little bits get stuck in the in the leads and it slows down the whole computer. Just take it out and take out all the batteries and shit. Don't leave it plugged in, you dumbass. And just fucking clean it off. Let's clean everything off and then uh, dry it off and redip it. Just for a little bit, just to clean off the, uh, the impurities that I jostled. I don't steal these from work, what are you talking about? There's a special day for that, by the way. I don't just do it willy-nilly, I only do it on one day, and I only do it with small shit. It's like in April, it's like April 16th, I think. You know, it's, not, it's nothing big, it's just, you know, you gotta, sometimes you gotta remind yourself, you know, who creates, who creates all the value here. Is it me, or is it my company? Because right now I'm the one doing the fucking work. And then, and then you pray to the gods, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what happens after this. So I guess I'll go into... Actually, I'm going to get more rice for this because this isn't enough, I don't think. I think this needs to be enough to feed a family. So I'll be back. Science, right? Science is not a series of failures. It's a, it's a one-time one success. Bleach. You take some bleach, right? You take, like, the less fuzziest side... You know what? I'm gonna wear gloves for this, cause fuck you. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fuck up my skin just for your entertainment. If this doesn't work, there's no sense in doing it anywhere else. But I kind of see it working. Let me uh, also dry up some of the excess here. I don't want to bleach everything. Hopefully that'll work. I don't know how long it takes. Oh shit! I forgot to try it on this. Shit. You know, it's probably gonna be the same result, to be honest. Uh, that one kind of got white. This one's the one that didn't get white. Look at that. You know, I bet they sell those on eBay. 
I'm, I'm willing to bet. If not, they sell them somewhere, okay? Fuck it, I'll do it on that one too. It's not going to work, but an experiment worth doing is an experiment worth doing twice. So yeah, I think, actually, I think that worked now that I look at it. There was no trickery involved. I just made an edit. Uh, but yeah, look, it worked. So I'm, I have a feeling, I don't know what's wrong with that one, but I have a feeling this is not an indicator, but I don't know. I couldn't bleach it. It does not want to bleach, so we're just going to have to give it a shot. Um, so this one's completely white, though, so that's cool. This is an indicator that you just look at. The fucking worker just looks at. It's like, yep, looks good. I'm going to strategically cut right there. Okay. Make sure that's straight with one of these motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. This is all within the, f within the construct of a person that just doesn't give a shit about their job. Because if they don't give a shit about their job, this will go for passing. Look, they're being exploited anyway, all right? You gotta, you gotta win hearts and minds in this way, too. You gotta understand. That's way too long, but I'm getting impatient, so I'm just gonna do it. That's still sticky. I'm gonna take some of this shit. This is a uh, face cleaner or something like that. Eh, whatever. You, you fucking can't tell, right? Yeah, it's fine. Uh, let's work backwards here. I'm going to go into our lovely stash of phone. I'm, do I'm done waiting. It smells like rubbing alcohol, actually. That's a good way of testing stuff. Smelling it. Yeah. Uh, you know what I might have to do? I'm going to actually get a, a blow dryer. Because I think that's a good way of, of trying to dry this. Because this isn't this isn't this isn't working properly. So I'm gonna put everything aside. I don't want to melt anything or set anything on fire. If there's any moisture, hold on. Sorry, I, I shouldn't talk and do this at the same time. If there's any moisture in there and power goes through it, right? Because there's no power going to this board right now. None. Um, I hate how this looks. Then. We can't really. We we fuck it. We we risk fucking more shit up because this the, you know it's still conductive. It'll still like what, what if it bridges a connection and fucks some shit up? Like I don't want to do that. So I'm gonna attach all the other stuff. Then I'll attach the battery. I don't uh, necessarily want to do this like this, but I think all contacts are being made because these are all yeah. These are all pinpoint contacts. We're going to reattach. Was it this one first? Yeah, this one was first. We're going to reattach that. Sometimes I don't even put screws back in because of how, you know, like, notched everything is. But I'm going to put a few here and a few there. I'm just, I, I really only put back the essentials. I don't care to fucking... I'm not a perfectionist, okay? Well, I'm going to screw that in because that feels kind of loose. Yeah. Yeah, that needs... Okay, that needs rigidity on both ends. So I'm definitely going to screw both of these in. Don't be a fool. Don't be a fool. This goes in first. Yep. Contact points. Contact points. Yep. See, it's always easier to put back on there. That's what's sad. I mean, I mean it's not sad. I guess it's okay because, you know, you work so hard to get in it. You really don't want to work hard to fucking put it back together. That would be shitty. It's not for you anyway. They really do that process for people in the in the shop putting this thing together. I don't know that it's not automated, but I feel a kinship with the uh with the last person that was in here. I feel your I feel your work here. I feel your your pain. You're trying to the person the person that put this together was just trying to survive capitalism. Just like just like all of us down here in the dirt. That was my dryer. That means it's done. Look, it ends up I I did use every single screw except for one. Might as well put that one back in there. So that one will go up top. These connections are made by the back cover because there's an antenna or something. Okay, so there's the cameras, there's the LED, some of the crap. I don't think I cleaned any of this. I don't think I'm going to because this is a kind of different kind of shit on this thing. These leads are just plain little gold leads. I don't know. That's, I'm not going to bother. I'm going to regret this part because I don't 
like how hard this is to take apart if I need to take it apart again, which I'm probably not going to. If this doesn't work, I'm just going to give up and uh, tell them that they're fucked and that they should take care of this shit. So yeah, looks good. I'm not going to try and turn it on because it's probably not charged. I left it off for a long time just to make sure it wasn't charged. Oh, let's not forget that. Uh, I will charge this and I will get back to you. So it's been like 12 days or something. I completely forgot about this. I was doing other shit. Let's show them what we can do. Plugged in, batteries in, holding it in. It just vibrates. Nope. Nope, just vibrates. No nope, fucking light even. It doesn't, no, no LED either, so it's fucked. But don't worry about it. So you can't win them all. As long as there are hate comments, I will always have something to wipe my ass with.